Hi, previously we've looked at how to solve the MLE and I'm going to talk about how, how, to, um, how to get the distribution of the MLE for large sample sizes. Another word uh, given here is asymptotic so you might be asked what find the asymptotic distribution of the MLE. I'm gonna because this video is for newbies I'm gonna first tell you the bare essentials. I'm gonna explain to you what this uh, specifically this video what the information number is. That's what this video is about really. And then I'm gonna give you some a couple of examples. Now in the second pass I pad the information out here and there in case you need it for future. So the general result is this given um suppose we have a model and it's got a single parameter. Okay, so a model, we have a, a model with a single parameter. So let's say random variable x follows some distributions f, fx, and it has a single parameter theta. Then the in large samples and under what they call uh, regularity conditions which basically just means technical some technical details um, which you don't need to know so the MLE is distributed in large samples so in some textbooks they write AN for asymptotically normal mean and the variance is 1 over this thing called the information number capital I theta which is a function of theta okay uh, this can also you see in some textbooks written like this asymptotically normal oh did that all different order there okay like that so let's put this in a box because this is what we want just have to memorize this. Now that's just the parameter value, so there's nothing. You just stick whatever the parameter, just stick theta in there. It's this thing you need to find, though. So, by definition, this information number is equal to the expectation of the derivative of the log likelihood all squared. Okay. Definition. However, for computational purposes, we we want to use not this expression. It's easier to work the thing out using this guy here. What I'm writing down now in blue. The second derivative of the log likelihood function take the minus of that and to make things look a bit neater let's from now on the second derivative let's just say that's L double dash up here theta okay notice I've done curly D not straight D but that's um, uh, I don't need to m mention more about I just forget what I just said okay so these two and the information number but for calculation purposes we want to use this one uh, I want to make a note on put a star by the things I want to come back to later for the second pass. I want to say something about that. Okay, so that's it. Let's put another star. I want to say something else about that. Okay, so just now need to look at an example. Let's say we have a model and a variable follows an exponential distribution parameter theta and I'm using the following parameterization okay this is the marginal all right now I've shown you previously in a previous uh, video that the log likelihood L and uh, the first derivative of this guy 
is bracket we don't put theta we put lambda here because that's our parameter it's not theta it's lambda okay this is what we did in a previous video now I want to look at uh, calculate the um, second derivative and then take expectations to minus one down minus two got an end there and that's gone to zero right then that then we can see from this that by definition this information well not by definition this information number is equal to minus the expectation of this so it's going to be equal take this guy stick it into here it's going to be minus expected value of minus one two of n remember what we said about parameters they are constants uh, they're constants so expected value of a constant is constant so it's itself and the minus and minus is a plus so the answer is n and now let's use like that okay that's the information number let's do another one Also from a previous video, we had a look at the Poisson. So let's look at the Poisson. We showed that in the previous video that the first derivative, the log likelihood, is this. So let's pick it up from here. Look at the second derivative. Minus 1, minus 2. Okay. Therefore, the information number is minus the expectation of this. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's fill it in. Minus. Right. This is a product of a parameter. It's a constant. And the x's, they're random. They're random because each of these x's that you're told follow a Poisson distribution. So we know that a constant can come out with expectation. Also, this is a minus 1, come out with expectation. Minus and minus is a plus. Expected value of the sum of these guys. Let's just write this down. Okay. Now we use the result that. The expected value of a sum is the sum of the expectation and some lecturers like professors like to mention stress that this is true whether or not the x's are independent are uncorrelated or not we've shown also from a previous video that the expected value of Poisson is its mean and it's lambda lambda they're all lambda so you've got n lots of lambda lambda square this is equal to n over lambda. So I just write now. This is see. This is look at my working. That that's for the for the asymptotic distribution. That that takes most of the space. I can now write this. I mean, the theta hat asymptotically normal. One over. Remember. Done. It is as simple as it looks. So that's all you need to know. I want to do a second pass now, just to fill in some details. Uh, okay, first of all, this is an expectation, right? These two expectations. So uh, I know my students are kind of a bit puzzled because in the lecture notes they see this written out fully with integration signs, which completely throws them because it looks a horrendous mess. But you don't need to know that because the whole point is we can use expectation rules and this is much simpler than if you're going to use expectations okay so forget about the expect um, sorry forget about the integration or summation double you know the, the summations use the expectation the rules of the expectation operator okay that's the first thing second thing is by definition the information number is this guy here all right I've done this in blue to say that this is equal to this but 
that's not always true. Um, as you, as you, for your undergrad days, that's always going to be the case, and probably postgrad as well. But there is a technical condition that is required um, to say that this in blue is equal to this. Okay, I'll just say that in case you ever kind of encounter it. Uh, but otherwise, forget it. I just use this one in blue. Um, third thing. Yeah, third thing is that. See, why do you need a minus there? You need a minus there because this second derivative is always going to be negative, and you know the variance. When you're going to do a variance, cannot be cannot be negative. So you stick the minus there to turn that into a negative. So if you for forget, if you forget there's a minus there, and you you will definitely get a minus here, and you know ah, I must have I must turn it to positive. So stick a negative. Okay. All right. Next interpretation of the information number. This helpful if you're trying to memorize what's going on here. So we have a let's say we've got a likelihood uh, function here. What the second derivative does is it, is it measures the sharpness of your uh, likelihood function. So the information number for this case uh, the information number for this case will be smaller than the information number for this case. So the large, so it's like this guy here measures the sharpness of the peak. The bigger the number, this information number, the bigger the number, the sharper the peak. Uh, how, what does that translate into? The sharper the peak translate into the smaller the variance. Okay, which is clearly what the picture shows. That's bigger. That's a bigger variance. There's a smaller variance for theta hat. So. The word information is like conveyed in there. So the higher the information number, it's like the more information you have about your estimator. So therefore, um, smaller is the variance is going to be. Okay. Um, last note on this. Okay. In some lecture notes, I believe in my college you do lecture notes. You might see information number written like this information number is equal to n lots of uh, information number of 1 of theta okay well what this says is n lots of the information number for just one observation and this will hold because um, the x's, so your uh, their data, are, if you're told, are independent. Okay, usually identically distributed, so but independent uh, and identically distributed. This is this is going to be true. So whichever use whichever one you like, but uh, the ones I've shown you just uses it straight from the uh, log likelihood for the whole for the model log likelihood because. Um, you know, because you have to calculate anyway to get the estimator, so it's just convenient just to do what I've done. Okay. All right. Well, I hope that's been helpful. Uh, share this video with your friends. Um, help them get a high score in the exam. Okay. Good luck.